What is she, a lollipop woman? <laughs> Police woman. <laughs> Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to the first episode of the second season of Only Fools and Horses. Yes, we are on the second season now. If you are new to my channel and you want to watch in the beginning, I have reacted to the full first season of Only Fools and Horses. I'll post the playlist to that down below. Before I get started, just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited complete reaction, I'll also post the link to my Patreon down below. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons, Joseph, Michael, Mitch, Paul, Brian, James, Daniel, Glenn, Louis, Des, John, Reese, Mark, and Kane. Let's just get started, shall we? You see my teeth. <laughs> you trod your mouth. He's had a haircut. Young one's had a haircut. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. Now, don't get sarky, Rodney. I had them last night. I meant to put them in soap. I might have left them in the kitchen. Do you want any breakfast, Rodney? No, I don't. My belly's going up and down like Tower Bridge. <laughs> I'll see if we've got anything out here for you. Right. Ah, there you are, Rodney. Morning. <laughs> Great night last night, wasn't it, eh? <whistles> hey, hey, Granddad, I found your teeth. They were outside by the rubbish chute. <laughs> what are you doing out there? Well, I don't know, do I? Did you lend them to anyone? Of course I didn't. <laughs> His hair also looks a bit different. I'm trying to remember what he looked like in the first series. It's been a while since I've reacted to this, guys. Like, it's been over a month. Meh. Oh, well. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Here, put a couple of rashes of streaky in that pan for me, will you, Granddad? <laughs> Chelsea dropped three on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> they should never have sold Greavesy, should they? Come on in, you fit. Yeah, right. Right. What did you have, Del Boy? Uh, just a packet of biscuits and a cup of tea, sir. What did you really have? Sausage, bacon, <laughs> double egg, beans and tomatoes. Mushrooms, black pudding. <laughs> <laughs> and chips. <laughs> Three teas, two bread. <laughs> bread was toasted. <laughs> no fried slice. No, not this morning, Sid. Her belly's a bit dicky. What did you have, Rodney? Oh, uh, just my usual bacteria on toast, you know. <laughs> One day I'll smack him in the mouth. Yeah, if you can find it. <laughs> Here, coming down the nag's head tonight. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of strippers on. <laughs> I'm going out tonight. Oh, here. Take that back. I want one of them down there. One of them biscuits, all right. Oh, yeah, where are you going? I, I didn't tell you, did I? Oh, no. I've got a bird. Sandra. Sandra? Who did you meet her then? She was down at a club last night. I didn't see you talking to anyone last night. Not even the bird that you were supposed to be with. Who was Sandra then? That uh, part-time barmaid, was she? No, she's not a part-time waller. She's got a career. Oh, career? What is she, a lollipop woman? <laughs> Police woman. <laughs> How did he fit those all up his sleeve? How? What? That's like a magic trick. I, how did they not fall out before? I'm, wow, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Well, clearly not, because they did fall out eventually. Going out with a policewoman. What are the neighbours going to say? <laughs> Why is he doing it to us, Del Boy? Because he's kinky, isn't he? <laughs> he's got what leading psychiatrists call a, a thing about police women's uniforms. Well, if that's all he wants, can't we clap together and buy him? <laughs> <laughs> so I know... It's a thing that women like men in uniform, but do men like women in uniform? Or is it just a Rodney thing? Genuine question. Hmm? Is it like a thing? Because I think the, the men in uniform thing is like the power trip, right? Like it's the, the power, you know, a police officer is like, there's the power element of it. Let me know if you identify as male if you find women in uniform sexy. Don't you remember the time when your little mate Roy Taylor got a set of Jacko roller skates for his birthday? 
you come in crying because you didn't have none. The next day, Del Boy brought you in a pair exactly the same as Roy Taylor's. <laughs> what do you mean, exactly the same as Roy Taylor's? They were Roy Taylor's. <laughs> <laughs> His big brother gave me a right argument when he caught me on him. Yeah, I got him back for you, though, didn't I? All right, Rodney, all right. Why don't you do that small thing? You decide where you go, what you do, and with whom you do it. Because I'm finished with you. I've washed my hands of you. As far as I'm concerned, you don't exist. Ooh, right? that's harsh. And Rodney, what? It's been raining, them roads will be treacherous. Drive carefully. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will. Cheers, Dill. What for? Nothing. Well, I shouldn't be too late. Sandra's got to be up early. She's on riot patrol. <laughs> <laughs> The world's a strange place to live in, isn't it? Ain't it, hey, Grandad? Hey? <laughs> One minute you walk along quite nicely, and the next minute, whack! Life jumps out and gives you sobering thoughts. Oh, I've had a lot of sobering thoughts in my time, <laughs> dear boy. It was them that started me drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I can understand that. <laughs> Boy's grown into a man. I don't, I don't feel as needed as I used to be. <laughs> Soon he'll, he'll fly the nest. But you know what the most sobering thought of the lot is? One wrong word from that plonker Rodney, and I could end up doing five years. <laughs> he makes a point. And what have you been doing? Nothing. No, 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 nothing. We've been all evening, haven't we, Granddad? Right? Yeah, and we've got witnesses to prove it. <laughs> I wasn't asking you to provide an alibi. I was just inquiring out politeness. Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, yeah, of course you was, Sandra. Sorry. It's just that, you know, us being such a law-abiding uh, family, we... Uh, we don't really know how to converse with uh, the old Bill. <laughs> He's got a police record. <clears throat> yeah, so walking on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you know, you, you've heard that one, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll play it for you later on if you like, you know, if you haven't heard it. Do you like police LP, Sandra? I've got the latest one. I haven't even been released yet, has it, Del? <laughs> How'd you come by it? No, no, what he means is, no, it hasn't been released in Britain yet. You see, we got it when we was abroad on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> we got it on holiday. Where'd you go? Spain. <laughs> oh, God. We toured. <laughs> yeah, we toured. We toured. What is. See, him acting like this just makes him look more su suspicious. Like, if he was just all chill and cool, like, she, she wouldn't have thought anything. And now, it's like, he's incriminating himself by acting nervous and all that crap. Anyway, I guess that's the comedy, right? Pleasant, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> if I was to carry out my duty to the full, I'd take you straight down the station now. But you did take me to the pictures. And you bought me a donut kebab. And a packet of cashews. <laughs> and a watch. Oh, no, forget about the watch. <laughs> no, I won't forget about the watch. Neither will I forget about the others. Your brother hid down the side of the armchair. Look, I'll give you 24 hours breathing space. Time to, shall we say, spring clean your flat. And after that, I'm coming round with the CID. That's 24 hours, Rodney. Yeah, right. Reminds me of that Gene Pitney song, you know, 24 hours from Dartmoor. <laughs> well, thanks for a lovely evening, Sandra. Thank you, Rodney. Then I'll fancy a coffee. Oh, do you? Well, there's an all-night sandwich bar down the Walworth Road. Oh, 
Oh yeah. I might probably pop down there then. <laughs> Sandra, will I see you again? Of course you will. I'll be round your flat in 24 hours. <laughs> and in case you don't recognise me in uniform, I'll be the one with the warrant. <laughs> Well, we've got 24 hours, Bill. Well, as you so rightly say, Bill. Rodney, 24 hours is better than nothing. Thanks for being so understanding, Bill. I'm going to kill you, Rodney! <laughs> 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 right, this is it, you dipstick. Have you got any last requests? Yeah, I want to leave my plimp cells to medical science. Now get off! <laughs> no, that's why I get off. Just leave me! Hey, like, what's up with you now? I thought you'd calm down. I had calmed down. And I trapped my finger in a flat on that table, got myself a black man's pinch, and it's all this dipstick's fault. I said I'm sorry, and I mean, what more do you want me to say? You could say I'm emigrating, Del Boy. I'm jumping off the balcony, Del Boy. Anything that would, that would cheer me up. Anybody can make a mistake, Del Boy. Yeah, yeah you're right. Look at the mistake Mum and Dad made. How could they produce such a stupid kid? Oh, go and put yourself down, Del. <laughs> <laughs> Tin you, I will. You know, we ain't got time to stand here arguing. We've only got a few hours to get, all, get rid of all this stuff. That's right. Help me clear out this sideboard. Right. Make it a bit lighter. Can we get this sideboard down Hooky Street, then? I don't know, Rodney. I don't know. Half the stuff in this flat is legal. The other half isn't. It's been such a long time. I, I just don't know what's bloody what anymore. We've got to get rid of the whole issue. That's it. Come on. Oh, I know there's something that I mustn't forget. Oh. Oi, Dale. What? Can I keep one of these bottles of aftershave? Yeah. What for? Well, it's just in case Sandra comes around a bit early, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you just can't come here. No, I, was, I don't uh -huh. want it now. Don't come here, man. Come here, you. Come you just come here. Come here. <laughs> That was good. I enjoyed that. You have to think though, they're gonna get caught at some point. Like they're gonna, they're gonna end up in prison at some point. Like the way they're going, <laughs> they just keep scraping by, and it's it's funny. Yeah, that's the comedy. That's the point of the show, I, I guess. But yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Bye. See you next time.